Welcome to another how-to video from Bugspray.com. In this video, we're going to inspect a trap that I suspect has captured something. I say that because we are hearing some sounds downstairs. So let's see if there's anything in here. There's a trap over there. And there does appear to be an animal in there. So what's happened in this scenario is we're in what I would call a knee space. It's basically a small attic area that I have in the corner of my home and the intention of this was to use it for storage which it has done to some degree but for the most part it has turned into what I would call an animal harborage or location that many small rodents like to use when it gets cold and I had this situation under control for several years, but this past year, my power supply in here went dead, and basically, the sound repeller that you see in one of our videos was not on. And with it being off, these little guys started to come around. I didn't realize what we had, but I was hearing something, I did my pre-baiting, and then I went ahead and got this trap set the other night, and I captured one. You can see the other video of it, and now I've got another one. So we've captured two flying squirrels in the space of about mm, three days, and I will continue trapping until we don't get any more, because this is huge. And we talk about this in our videos all the time, about how these animals get used to coming in and using the same areas over and over. And that's exactly what's happening here. This little guy found the same pathway as the other one. And I wouldn't be surprised if we capture more before this ordeal is done. I had this happen over the years of living in this home so it is a pattern i live in a wild area and there's just tons of small animals and they will definitely move inside if you give them the chance so this little guy has to go sorry sorry buddy this is not your house and we need to keep it clean we need to keep it rodent free so you'll be relocated to a safe area In summary, what you see going on here is basically the process. And this is the second animal. I suspect I'll catch a few more before I'm done. But once I go two weeks without trapping anything, I will then uh, seal up the hole. I actually found the entrance hole that they're using. And I'll get that sealed up. And then I will purge the area, get it treated with our total odor eliminator and then I'll set up my sound repeller and hopefully make sure that she keeps running by checking it periodically particularly in the fall and as long as that sound repeller is working every fall and winter I should be good that's really kind of important if it's going to be able to do its job so thank you for watching this how-to video from bugspray.com